Hey everybody, it's me, Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome into Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm super excited to be here and I thank you for joining me on this morning. Hit the thumbs up and share this stream out if you have not yet done so. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm going to start with a prayer and then we will greet everyone and then begin to craft. I'm so happy about this craft today. It is a craft a pattern that I've been wanting to do for some time. I started it and then stopped it, but this time we're going to complete it. All right, this is the year of 2023. Or things get done, all right? That's what I'm going to throw out there. Speaking of things getting done, all right? Today, I will be creating my video for my finished object challenge 23. That's right. If you have not joined it, what are you waiting for? It's hashtag FO challenge 23. And every month, I encourage you to upload your finished objects, all right? Uh, it's just a way to for us to continue seeing how far we're going and make us actually encourage us to finish our whips, which is our works in progress and turn them into finished objects. So yes, guys, I finished up my shawl. That's right. This baby is officially done. I'll be having some pictures of that and put that on my video as long as well as my afghan, which is very close to being done. But I'm going to pray because I want you guys to work with me. And if you want to make this pattern, it's going to be very, very fun. We can do this together. All right. I'm only going to do it for the craft hour. I'm not going to do it on the weekends. I'm not going to do it behind the scenes. This will be strictly for craft hour because I really want everyone to make this and try this out. Show some love to Dr. Katrina if you don't have her. Run her playlist and enjoy her videos because they're super, very amazing. And she is as well. Okay. But I want to pray because without me, you know, I can still talk about Dr. Katrina after the prayer. Um, and then we'll get into the crafting. But I just wanted to give you that. I do have the pattern in the chat as well as in the description. All right. So you guys can go and see exactly. I like it. It's very customizable. So you don't have to worry about, oh, what if it doesn't fit? Or I'd like to wear wearables, but, you know, they don't make a lot of things in my size. You don't have to worry about that. This pattern is just for you. All right. Just for us. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you, God, giving you glory and honor as I come humbly yet boldly before your throne. I thank you for this life and this day that you've given us. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God, on today, I ask that you begin to cover us, God, from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. Father God, with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, God, who died for us on Calvary, and that you rose again, Father God, on the third day for, for our sins that we may live. On this morning, Father God, help us to be grateful for the sacrifice that you made. Help us to be grateful for every blessing that you've given us. Us. Help us to be grateful for every way that you've made, every miracle that you performed, every yoke that you destroyed, every burden that you lifted, every chain that you broke off of us. Father God, every time that you healed us, every time that you rescued us, every time that you freed us, every time that you reassured us that we're the head, not the tail, every time that you reassured us that we are above and not beneath, every time that you reassured us that you'll never leave us nor forsake us, help us to be grateful. On this morning, God, I give you everything and all of me. I surrender it all. And today I lay it all aside. Every weight, every burden, every piece of stress, Father God, everything that worries me, everything that makes me feel doubtful, I lay it down on today and I give it to you because I understand that the battle is not mine and it is yours. So, Father God, on today, I ask that you begin to fight every battle, Father God, everything that comes against me on this morning, everything that comes against my sisters and my brothers on this morning, Father God, I ask that you begin to fight our battles, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to wipe tears on this morning. I'm asking that you begin to clear cluttered minds on this morning. I'm asking that you begin to take away fears on this morning. God, I'm asking that you begin to help us mount up with wings as eagles. I'm asking that you begin to help us to understand, Father God, that the enemy has no power and he has to flee. That, Father God, that he has no power and he is a liar on this morning. I come against every plot and plan that he, he may try to bring against us, God, against our health, our families, our children, our marriages, Father God, our businesses, Father God, our finances, whatever it may be, Father God, I come against it. I denounce it. I bind it up and I send it to the dry place in which it came. And on this morning, I ask that you begin to loose your glory, loose your love and your power and your strength on this morning. Loose your love, Father God, and loose your joy on this morning. I'm asking that you begin to touch those who haven't slept, touch those who haven't been able to get rest, touch those who haven't been able to eat on this morning. I'm asking that you begin to fill our bodies up with nourishment on this morning, Father God. Because you have a journey for us, you have a purpose for us, and help us to be nourished to go through the journey. Help us to be strengthened to, able, to be able to go through the journey. God, I ask that you touch everybody that's watching this chat on this morning, whether it be now, the replay, or the background. God, I'm asking that you touch everyone who's working on this morning, those who are driving, cover those who are in the school buildings, cover those who are homeless, those who are in prisons or jails. God, cover those who are in nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, those who fight for our country, those who fight for our communities. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to be with them, saturate their atmospheres, bring them peace and joy. Wherever 
wherever they are on this morning. Father God, protect them from anything that comes against them. Father God, any hurt, harm, or danger, we bind it up on this morning. God, I'm asking that you begin to be with us wherever we are on today. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to sing your ministering angels, your warring angels. Father God, your guardian angels. Father God, to encamp us. Father God, with your joy, your peace, and your protection on this morning. God, touch those who are grieving, who may have lost loved ones. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to take away every spirit of depression, every spirit of frustration, every spirit of depression, suicidal thoughts. Father God, I bind them up on today, Father God. And I'm asking that you begin to just lift them up and help them to think on the good things, things that are lovely, as your word says. God, I'm asking that you begin to help them to reminisce on the good days, Father God. God, on this day, I, I bind up any type of uh, discord. I bind up any type of separation. I bind up any type of division, Father God. And on this morning, I thank you for this chat. Everyone that comes in, God, thank you for this craft on today. Father God, thank you for Dr. Katrina who blesses us with so many different crafts and so many mindful things to do. Father God, cover her and her family and everything that she begins to touch her health. Father God, cover her children, her marriage. God, cover her. On today, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to cover her business and be with her, Father God. Fill her up until she overflows. She's a cheerful giver, Father God. And on today, I ask that you begin to just cover everyone that's in this chat, Father God. I ask that you begin to give us a great day to laugh together and craft together, God. I thank you for everyone that comes in with time. Thumbs up. Everyone who comes in and subscribes. Everyone who joins my membership. Everyone leaves a comment. Father God, thank you. God, I'm asking that you begin to bless those who super chat, cash up, or PayPal. Bless their seeds a thousand times more. And on this morning, Father God, I bind up trolling, spamming, cyberbullying, and any type of technical difficulties. I love you, Lord, and I pray this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come on in a building. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in to Craft Hour with who? Triple C. That's right, guys. Welcome in. I'm super excited to be here. It is Thursday. It is the second day of March, all right? Many of us know that, all right? We're in the third month, and we have to get, we got to keep it going. We got to keep the productive productivity going all right so that's what i'm i'm here to do today uh, i've been getting some projects done feeling really good about that and so we got another one today we got another one which i'm happy to do like i said before i started this baby and i did it with a size three yarn which you know not always my favorite <laughs> if i can be honest and so i stopped it i did it in the fall time and Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it was the yarn that wasn't tickling my fancy. I don't really know what it was. And sometimes you need a new yarn for a new project, right? You don't, sometimes the same yarn that you've used before, okay, it, it may not spark that interest. So this time I'm using something I never used before because 2023 is about new yarns I've never used, even though they may not be new in the stores because I haven't been to the yarn, <coughs> yarn store in a while. But um, even though it's maybe, it may not be a necessarily new yarn in the store, it's new to me. And so I'm trying to really use the yarns I haven't used as well as do things I've never done. So that's what this year is about. So come on in, hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. How y'all doing? We got Cammy in the building, Drini in the building, my husband, JLE in the building, who is responsible for my look today. I know some of you may enjoy the look. Uh, my husband is, is responsible for not only the poncho, but the actual hat that I'm wearing. Uh, and it was a surprise, as many of you saw last night. He walked in in the building. Uh, every single night, he's been walking in with little surprises. I said, okay, well, you better surprise me. <laughs> anyway, shout out to my husband. If you don't have him, grab him up. He is at Joe's Bowling Sports and Ministry Talks TV, where you get your bowling, your sports here. Ministry Talks TV. Guys, you don't want to miss out on Monday and Tuesday nights where he's live. You don't want to miss out on the interviews that will be coming up soon. And also some great word and some great praise and worship. All right. So don't forget to grab him up. His command is exclamation mark J O E. Hello, honey. Good morning. And I love you. And I thank you for being here. We got Gamer Bro, Gold Squad in the building. His command is exclamation mark Gamer. Last night, we were having Watch It Wednesday for my amazing members. Thank you to everyone who came on and supported. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know my members were very, very happy to get that feedback and that love. Uh, he showed us a bit of some pup puppetry last night. Many of you guys love the puppetry. It, it got aggressive toward the end, okay? Uh, but So I, I just want to let you guys know that's the disclaimer. If you watch the puppetry starring Honey and Sierra, okay, it got a little violent toward the end, all right? Again, that's the disclaimer. Uh, but uh, Go grab them up. If you don't have them, guys, we got Angelis in the building. What's going on? We got Rosie in the building. We got TT Kennedy. Come on in. We got my mom in the building. Hey, mama, welcome in the building. I love you. How you feeling today? Feels good to see you. How you doing? I appreciate you for coming in here this morning. We got Jolene in the building. Jolene, how you doing? Feels so good to see you. Oh, my goodness. How are you? I hope everything is going great with you. Oh, my goodness. Been missing you, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene. We got Reza. You better get in here, okay? You better get in here. How you doing? We got Rosie. She says, good news. I did my signing paperwork online. 
All right, that's what I'm talking about. What kind of paperwork for your job? <clears throat> Are you going to be crisping at the cream? Let me know because I'm so nosy. I like to hear about the cream crisping. All right. We got some good. Hey, some of our family members are really having some really good new jobs. Nana Donna's in that building. You better get in here, Nana Donna. How you doing this morning? All right. I want to sip a little agua. Okay. What the whistle? Because the whistle's dry. <laughs> Throw it out there. Have you ever blew a whistle and it was dry? Today, mine is. So let me just wet it. Okay. Just going to throw it out there. Congratulations, Rosie. Is what I'm talking about. And I like some good news. Mm. I love some good news, guys. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to share with you what we're working on today. We're going to be working on this delicious vest, and it is going to be delicious. I know spring is coming. So I was like, you know what? I need something to wear for spring. I need something to wear to model, but I also want to support my family. This lady right here, Dr. Katrina, if y'all don't have her, y'all better grab her up, guys. Let me drop the link because I need you guys to make sure y'all click it. So y'all see Nightbot drop links, guys. The Nightbot is my helper. All right. Shout out to Nightbot. All right. Shout out to Nightbot because Nightbot drops a lot of important links, whether it be to my stores, my PayPal or Cash App, if you guys want to grease the palm, whether it be to my amazing members or just different announcements I have, Nightbot does it. So shout out to my amazing moderators who know the commands and will drop them every so often for me. And shout out to Nightbot for being there to help out. So Dr. Katrina, she's been doing a lot of things. She's an actual physician. I tell people this all the time. She's a physician and she helps save lives and she does different things in the community, YouTube community, church community, everywhere she goes. She's just a, a cheerful giver. She doesn't do what to get all these accolades and this big shout out ordeal, but she just does it because that's just who she is. If she has a, if she has an ability to do it, she'll do it. If she has the ability to bless, she'll bless, but that's just what she does. And so um, it's a blessing to just, you know, call her family because she is family so she came up with this delicious delicious tutorial recipe for this pattern and i'm telling you i saw it right away and i just fell in love i fell in love because i've always wanted to make something in this type of type of style and i just kind of you know we wait you know i played around with it and thought about it and you know backed away and i started it but again i used a yarn that possibly wasn't what it called for it, it didn't do what i needed it didn't wake me up it didn't you know, tickle the fancy. So I decided to use a different yarn today. We're going to do that today. Okay. All right. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Let me get into the craft. I'm going to pull everything up. We're going to do this together. And we're going to go in from there. My mom says, what are you using on your lips? They look plump and juicy. Oh my. Um, nothing. I'm not using it right now. Just a little, just a little actual chapstick. This is actually bliss sticks. <laughs> this is actually bliss sticks. There's nothing on the lip. They're just, they're just there. <laughs> Thanks mom. Plump and juicy. Okay. Uh, okay, you're starting to work soon. Okay, you better get your work on. Jolene is in the building. She says, yes, we are good for a while. My landlord's sale fell through. Mm. Won't he do it? Hey, that's what God will, right? That's nothing like the power of prayer. You're right. So thank you for the small blessing. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's why I just want you to, I'm so glad that, you know, just stop, don't let go and let God have his way. Because when he does do that, when you do do that, he will have his way. And you don't have to stress. You know what I'm trying to say? We're trying to alleviate stress. We don't need the stress. You know? And so I thank God for, you know, taking away those stresses that, you know, sometimes we, we just want to know. We, we always want to be ahead of everything. That's how we are because we don't want to be in the dark, literally. You know, so we do want to be ahead. We do want to know what's going on next and what we can do to make sure things are good. And it can cause us to overthink and it can cause us to start stressing out because, you know, things like that, that sudden things like that. I mean, it's not our fault. What can we do about it? But it just, it takes us to like, wow, what do we do? You know, <clears throat> but I'm so glad. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And so today, guys, we're going to get into this and have some fun. Okay. Let me see where we at. I don't even know what that was. What did I just do? Okay. Here we go. I don't know what I was just doing, guys. There's a new little setting on there. All right, guys. So we're going to have some fun with this pattern, okay? I want to get started as soon as possible. <clears throat> Pardon me. I don't want to be. I always get these little frogs in my girl. What's going on? Iris is in the building, too. Hey, Iris, you better get in here. Iris is in the building. What's going on, Iris? All right, guys. I'm going to pull this camera up. Let me get this put together. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, guys, so let's have some fun with this craft on today. I'm super excited about doing this. Okay. <clears throat> let's see here. I have Aiden in here. Wild sleeper. Oh, snaps. Oh, my gosh. 
Team No Sleep. Oh my goodness. Shout out to my cousin for that. Uh, Team No Sleep uh, trademark. And let me go ahead and uh, pull myself up. But I want to show you guys what I'm using as I pull myself up too. All right, guys. So I am back. Come on in. Here we go. And hey, Aiden, if you're sleep oh, well, you're asleep right now, but whenever you wake up, if you ever hear your name called, hello. <laughs> so I decided to use this yarn. This yarn is a bobbin yarn. Come on, guys. We got a bobbin yarn. Uh, this was given to me by Jeannie over at Butterflies Dreams Crochet with Jeannie. I never used it yet because I was trying to figure out, do I want to make up a pattern with my own pattern with this? What do I want to do with it? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to try to give it to you just like this, all right? As you can see, there's some peaches and a little bit of peach gray blend, and then there's a gray blend. Love it. So we're going to get started with this one today, guys. I've been wanting to use this. Some people say it's overrated, right? Some people say this the packaging is what it's all about. It is a size four yarn, and this pattern calls for a size four yarn. And I don't really know exactly what size hook Dr. Katrina used, but I'm going to use an eye, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And so we're going to start with that. And it does have 543 total yards in this baby. All right, this color is called, doo -doo -doo. I don't know, what is the color? Oh gosh, guys. It's called Peachy Keen. Shout out to the Peachy Keen. This is Peachy Keen, as you can see, there's peaches, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this craft on today. I don't know which one, what color we're starting with, I don't know. I wouldn't mind starting with like a peach, but it's not good. I don't know what color, how do we even start this thing? Help me learn. Okay, is this where you started? This is where you begin? Oh, oh, pull here. Okay, you better read. Thank you. Something like reading. Reading is fun fundamental. That's what I was always told. Okay, I just want to go right there. <laughs> and they told me reading was fundamental. That's all I can say. So, hmm, where am I starting? Am I starting with the... Oh, snap. I pulled it. Okay, here's my beginning. Okay, guys, I guess I'm starting with gray. I should have... I have uh, three of these. I should have just looked and seen which one was which, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because it's going to be the back. We're starting with the back, so it's okay. I really would like the, the top to be a little peachy. So we're starting with the back. This is going to be the back. I'm going to show you how it's done. I just got to get this baby. Uh, hmm. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, am I pulling two strands? Help me, Lord. Hmm. How does it? Oh, you can pull from each one. Is this what we're doing, guys? Hmm. That's what we're doing. Okay, guys, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? All right. Hey, Freehandly, how you doing? What's going on, Lydia? Everybody hit the thumbs up. Come on in. Okay, come on in. Oh, is a crook. Oh, come to find out she in trouble with the city. So all this time, she's been full of crap, but it worked on me good. Oh, hey, but I'm hey, I'm, I'm happy that it was all, hey, it was all, hey, I'm happy. It worked out. You said, yes, I want to see what project you're doing to start. Okay, cool. Yes. It's in the description box, guys. It's going to be a vest. Yes, yes, yes. You was gifted some of that too, Drini? That's what I'm talking about. Hey. I'm excited to try this out. What's going on, Liddy? Everybody loving each other. What's going on, Free Handley? Everybody, come on in. Okay, so I'm guessing, guys, we can start from wherever we want to start it. And I i don't know how it's going to work because I've seen how they, they had it where they told us the different yards in each yarn. But they're letting us know that we can pick which one to start with. And I'm trying to figure out what I want. I think I want the middle to be the variegated. I don't know why. I'm not really, I'm a designer, but sometimes I can't see colors and i always usually have my husband do it for me because he's like good with like this matching really really well i gotta figure this out what do i want to be the middle hey i'm going with the variegated i don't know which one will be best but i'm going with variegated as my middle square and we're gonna go from there okay guys so i want us to get started with this i don't want to keep the yapping too much i mean i love the yap but i can yap and craft at the same time right so let me get started with that we're gonna start with this middle piece which is going to be our granny square. Now, I usually, it's good to like measure for this craft, guys, per se, measure your back. And I kind of measure from my, I don't, if you want to measure your nape or a little bit where you're, like if you have a shirt on, a t-shirt or something, measure from the top of that down to your back, you know, the bottom of your back. Not where the hip dips, but just the back, you know, kind of measure that. And uh, that's how big you want your square to be because you're going to have that, you're going to have a round shell uh collar and in the bottom that's going to flare as well so you don't need to make the square too big you just want it to be just enough to cover that back up okay 
So I'm just going to get my yarn together. I have a little tangle here. Um, and then we're going to go from there. I do like it, but I, again, it would have been okay if they just kept it in one yarn. And they really didn't have, they didn't have to separate it. They could have just kept it one. I think that's kind of, you know, taking me somewhere, but I'm not going to go there. It may take me there, but I don't have to go, right? <laughs> I can hop off the train at any, at any given time. All right. <laughs> so let me see uh, what I just did. Okay, here we go. I got my I got my yarn here. So let's get started, guys. If you want to see it a little bit up close, this is what it looks like. If I can give it to you, I will. Okay, this is what it looks like. You can't really see it, but this is what it looks like. Okay, guys. So we're going to have some fun and do this baby today. Let's get into it. There's nothing to it but to do it, okay? So I'm going to start my square off. And this is a basic granny square. What are you guys working on this morning? What y'all working on? If you guys want to work on this with me, have some fun. Show some love Dr. Katrina. Many of you know Dr. Katrina already, and you love her work. You love her support. So join in with me on this. You can make it over the weekend. You can make it now. Whatever. It's in the description box. Let's do this together. Let's support Dr. Katrina and, and do this because she makes so many people's patterns and test people out and do tons of giveaways. Wouldn't it be just super nice to show her, show her some love? I just think so. I think so. All right. Hit the thumbs up and thank you for sharing this out. Yeah, she probably will sit. We'll sell, but I'm sure not soon. Yeah, hopefully. She will. Yeah, exactly. We don't know what's going on. All right. It's all good. Thank you. I was dropping links. I love working with it, but it is split once in a while. It did. Yeah, I heard people say it was splitting. I heard people say it was splitting. I, 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 heard, I mean, a lot of people say a lot of different yarns split, um, even with the Caron Simply Swap. A lot of people don't like that either. Um. So, yes, but I'm going to do my granny square. You said I'm working on knitting needles, making a dish. Oh, you better knit. All right, guys, so I'm just going to do my, my granny square. Okay, so you can do your granny square any kind of way you want. And just go from there, okay, guys? I usually do a chain of four, and then I join. But you can do whatever you want, okay? You can make your granny square however you want. I'm using an eye hook. I'm not exactly sure, like I said. I'm not sure exactly what size hook that Dr. Katrina used, guys. But I'm using an eye on today, which is 5.5 millimeter, okay? So I'm just going to keep going, doing my granny square, which is going to be three double crochets, chain two. Do three double crochets again. OK. All right, there we go. I'm going to chain two, one and two. I'm going to do another set of three crochet, three double crochets. So far, I like the way this yarn is filling my hand, if I can say that. I'm using a tulip hook, which is an eye hook on today. And I'm loving it. This is really soft on the hand. Shout out to, I believe this is, what is this, Premier Yarn? Premier Yarn, anti-peeling. So it doesn't have like the little bit of, you know, the little fuzz bits. Sometimes yarn can get a little fuzzy, but you can get a fabric shaver for those who've never had that. In this case, you've had a beautiful, delicious beanie or whatever you've had over the years and it starts, or even an Afghan and it starts to kind of peel a bit. If you don't mind the peeling, sure. But if you do have it and you kind of maybe wash it for an order and it starts to peel after that first wash and you just want to make sure your customer knows it's not been used, you can use a fabric shaver and it will begin to uh, shave off those little itsy bitsy peely pieces and it will give it that brand new look all over again, okay? <clears throat> Okay, hey, Aiden is on your chest. Oh my goodness, so you can't get your crochet on. All right, so this is the beginning of our square. And again, if you, you can do your square any type of way you want, okay? You're very welcome, Iris. Okay, maybe I'll do it good. I'll try to do good today. Usually I will just chain three and work in my corner, okay? But I will do good and I'll slip stitch over into my next space. <clears throat> And go from there. Okay, so I'll slip stitch over into my next space and do a corner stitch. Here we go. Okay, just like so. Okay, now we're chain through. What's going on, Colleen? See, welcome in the building. How you feeling? How are you doing today? Here we go. So we got this here. We're gonna do our three double crochets. That first chain three acted as a, you know, as a uh, double crochet. Chain or two. Each corner we usually chain two, okay? I hope this is how Dr. Katrina did hers. All right, and now we just did a corner and now we're just gonna chain one and make another corner stitch, which is gonna be three double crochets, chain two, three doubles, okay? I'm gonna move, let me move this a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, you said that's what I don't like about Karen's. So 
as long as you already use the yarn, it gets really it does. It gets fuzzy really quickly. It does. It really, really does. I love it, but it does get fuzzy. Certain colors get a little more fuzzier than others. I'm just like, oh wow. You know, it makes it look like it's been used multiple times and it hasn't. <clears throat> you like this yarn, honey? Yeah, I love this yarn. I do. I like it a lot. It's very soft. Very easy to work with, you know? It seems like you can just you can breeze through it. I love things that you can breeze through. So after you have your, like I said, you have your measurement for this, you guys just go ahead and get your square made up and then we'll start that body, okay? So measure your nape to the your back, the bottom of your back, and then you go in, okay? Oh, Henry's back. Oh my goodness, Henry. Henry's back. That's good. I know you're happy. And let me see. Anybody? Okay. Okay. Everybody's loving it. Yes. It's just anybody got some breakfast going on or what you guys got up going on this morning? Please let me know. All right. So here we go, guys. So far, so good. I'm loving it. I got like a little bit of a. Um, I don't know if that was like a little splittery or what. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was split. I just don't know if I pulled it good or what. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to pull it. Let me do it. Let me see. Under the covers. Oh, my goodness. You say, yeah, seeing you work with that bobbin yarn makes you feel like starting my rib. You might as well. You might as well. I'm using an eye hook, so I don't know. If that helps or not, it calls for eye hooks. So I decided to just use what it called for because I know everybody was talking about the splitting and things of that sort. So I said, well, maybe I'll just use what they say and maybe it'll help me. Because I was thinking about doing an H hook at first. I was like, well, let me do an H of five millimeter. But then it said I. So I was like, okay, well, let me just use what it says. All right, so we're done with this round two of our granny square. Dr. Trina used made 10 rounds for hers. But to each his own, everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to have different sizes. And depends on what kind of coverage you want, things of that sort, you know? You can have a ball with this. So here we go, guys. Now you can slip stitch in your corner again. Slip stitch over to your corner. Some people turn their grannies. Again, I don't turn my granny because I kind of like, I kind of want it to be, you know, one-sided. I want it to be a wrong side and a right side. And sometimes when you begin to do that, the turning, you don't have a wrong or a right side. Both sides can be either way. And I just kind of like the way the wrong and the right side look because I just like the way it looks. And I just want to put it on the right side when I'm ready. What's going on, Lefty? Good morning to you. How you doing? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Everybody loving each other in the chat. Okay, thank you so much for loving each other. And I uh, hope you're having a beautiful morning, guys. Anybody got some good weather where you are on today? I don't know what my weather is. Yesterday was a nice day. I was able to get my shawl done and things of that sort, which is really nice. Today, we're going to be live at 6 p.m. Eastern. Hope you all come on over, okay, and enjoy some crafting coming up on the panel. I'll probably bring my afghan. If it's not done, I'll try to get it done as much as possible and get my eaves, my weaves, my ends woven in and things of that sort, getting that done, and then uh, figure out some other things. I saw some really nice patterns that I want to do for craft hour. Oh, you saying hi, going to bed now. Okay, well, good night. <laughs> good night, Lefty. Lefty usually works late nights. Thank you for coming in saying hi, hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate that love. It's 37 and chilly. Oh, wow. See? And that's how the weather goes in our in our state. That's what I told you guys. I'm not bringing out the Daisy Dukes yet. Not bringing out the flip-flops yet because our city can go from sunny to snowy in 24 hours, two hours, either one. It really doesn't matter. So I try not to get my hopes up until it's time, you know. I don't get my hopes up. And, and our children, they love to get their hopes up for the weather. And it doesn't matter what we tell them. If they see a little sun, okay, if they see a little sun, they're going to be ready to you know, abandon their coats, abandon their beanies, and they're ready to go out there, okay, and pretend that it's summer. They will. If they get a chance. To, if we, If they catch us not looking. Lydia says, I have a question for you, Dana. Do you also, you, yeah, do you do, yes, I do knitting. I do a bit of knitting now. Again, I have not made bigger projects. I've done things like ear warmers. Come on, I'm freezing. Okay, there we go. I've done things like ear warmers. I've done, um, I've done a beanie. <clears throat> what else have I done? A cow and dishcloths. That's what I've done. I've never conquered some socks or a shawl yet. 
or a cardigan. Those are the three things I really want to do. A shawl, a cardigan, and a pair of socks. I want to knit that one day. Again, I don't know when, but I would like to. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. I've had to get my little sip on. All right, let's see here. Colleen says it's 40 degrees and cold. They're predicting three to seven inches of snow for tomorrow. Oh, wow. Get out of here. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. If you don't have Colleen C2 Serendipity, please grab her up because this weekend she's having a one-year anniversary party. That's right, on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, 4 Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a party going on. That's right. Come and celebrate Colleen's birth, her one-year anniversary here on YouTube for games, giveaways, fun, and it's just going to be a great time. If you don't have her, her command is exclamation mark Colleen, okay? Go show her some love, guys, all right? This weekend, I know a lot of us don't have much to do on the weekends, and we can go and celebrate and show her some love and just come on out. This weather is crazy here in California. That's what Iris says. It has rained like two weeks in a row. Usually it will rain. Usually it will rain no more than five days in a year. I know. And remember you saw I said you want some rain. Look, there you go. Look. <laughs> there you go. You got your rain. Jolene is showing some love to my husband. And we're just going to keep on going. We're keeping on going, guys. That's all I can say. All the way around, y'all. That's what we're doing here. Again, you make sure you measure it, you know, as you start, as you know, as you notice, it's starting to get a little larger. Make sure you get your measure on to make sure uh, it's your size, you know, things of that sort. Okay, that's all you want to do. You just want to continue to measure. I mean, you want to continue to cra craft, but you always want to make sure you check your measurement to make sure it is, you know, how it's coming along. Because with a granny square, once you get the, the hang of a granny square, you will be zooming through that baby. You won't have to look at it. You can feel those spaces and know what's next. And you can just kind of go through right now. I'm kind of looking a bit because I do not want to, I do not want to, um, I don't want to split the yarn. So I'm just trying to make sure I have everything intact. I don't want to, you know, crochet too fast without looking. And then next thing you know, I won't be able to, I have to go back and frog something. <laughs> We don't need any frogging on this morning, all right? So anybody else working on anything this morning or anything, anybody have anything on your to-do lists for crafts? I do. I did see some beautiful uh, shawls by Nana's Crafting Home. After this particular uh, craft, we're going to do the, uh, one of her shawls. She has a very beautiful shawl that we're going to do. It calls for a Mandela cupcake yarn or a size three yarn, whatever one you want to have. I, I'm going to go look and see what kind of size three yarns that I do have. If I don't have one that, that's really like popping out, I'll probably try one. I'll try a different one. What's going on, Oreo? How are you feeling this morning? You better get in here. I'm doing great. How about you? Excuse me. It feels so good to see you up in here this morning. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go, guys. We're doing good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you again, Dr. Katrina, for this delicious tutorial, this recipe, because I'm telling you, she gave us the recipe for it, y'all. Please go check out that recipe. I'm telling you, she shows you, you know, the formula. And a lot of times we want to make something for ourselves. But again, if it's not our size, we want to attempt it or, you know, we don't really know where to go from it there. A little breakdown. And, and she gives us the visual breakdown. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I stayed up, because I'm telling you, I stayed up. Making sure I watch it. I kept dozing off and I kept rewinding. I said, I'm staying up. I don't care. I have to stay up. I got my got a lot of my things done that I had to do. And I needed to make sure I also watched this video so I can get my notes in. Because I, I wanted to have this right. I didn't want to. And I wrote my notes, took me some notes so I can have it. Because I did not want to. I wanted to make this, you know. And uh, I got it down. I got it written up. And I was super excited about it. Okay. So here we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and join that in there. There we go, like so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch over into my corner. Because usually I would just start chaining right here and then work into this space. But I will do it a good way, a correct way, a you know, healthy way. And I'll slip stitch over into my corner. Every row, I'm just going to slip stitch over. And start my round every time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we go. There we go. We're just doing it. Look at us. We're doing it. And we're going to continue going on. Hey, Brett, welcome in the building. I, I want to finish my mile a minute blanket from Jada and Stitches. Oh, yes. That's what you're going to work on today. Do I know what shawl I'm going to start? Uh, I'm going to look. There's a couple different ones that I want to do, but I'm not sure yet. I will probably go through and see because she has a lot of different shawls. I did her simple shawl, which came out really nice with the size one. It's a wrap yarn, but I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> There's one that I like, but I can't remember the name of it. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Every so often, you know, in the morning, I need to start wetting my whistle early in the morning. I really don't. And so I need to start doing that. I used to like kind of talk a little bit and kind of get my throat, you know, working. But I didn't do any of that today. I just kind of got up and put my makeup on and got ready. And I didn't even, you know, talk a little bit or sing or anything to get my throat moving a bit. So it's a little dry. Okay, Bressy, you're gonna be you're gonna be worshiping today. Okay, get your worship on. Ain't nothing wrong with some of that good worship. So yeah, this is coming out great, guys. If you never use this bobbing yarn and you've just been wanting to, I would say try it. Do you have an Ocean State job? Lots they have Ocean State job. That's the have the shawl and the volume. Oh no, we don't. We don't have that. They have a shawl and a ball yarn. What is on sale right now? Oh, my goodness. No, we don't have that. Oh, my goodness. Only if you color. I would still take it. How much is, do they have it going on? I mean, I know I can't get any, but I'm just kind of curious. They have a good sale on it? No, I love my shawl and a ball. Mm -hmm. So, yes, guys, we're just continuing. Look at this. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's really soft. I, this baby is going to be nice to wear. I cannot wait to wear this baby. This is going to be a part of my March finished objects. So I'm excited about my March finished objects. All right. So happy about these babies. Because I'm getting my, I'm doing, I'm, I'm really happy because I've been so productive getting my things done every single night. I mean, every month. I mean, I know I need to get some more things done. I'm going to. I'm going to be getting more things done. I just, I'm going to be looking at different things, different, you know, patterns. So I can get some ideas. You know, lately I, you know, that's what I've been doing, but I, I get, I'm going to go head over to probably Joanne's, I believe, one day and see what they have. Yeah, I did say it again. Like, is she going to say that again? I'm saying it every day until I get to Joanne's. So, so I'm saying it every day, guys. So just in case you thought just you her said it yesterday, I did. I did say yesterday. Mm hmm And you say, yes, Dana. Okay, I read that one. Yes, it is hot. It is too hot to crochet in my lap. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, because you got to, it's, it's hot. Yeah. When it's hot outside and you're making an afghan and that baby's heavy and thick, it's like, no, I'm definitely, I gotta throw that baby to the side. Because usually when you're crocheting an afghan, after it starts getting big, it's a little more comfortable to sit up on your lap. So that way you're, you're not straining your arms and you wanna keep your arms and elbows propped up. You know, once you have to like hold them down, it like puts stress and strain all over the shoulder and the arm. I like guess a lot. So you gotta kind of have it. You know, you got to kind of, I usually like to put pillows or even one of those little boppy, if you have like one of those little boppy pillows or it's like a pillow or something under your lap, something under the elbows, your elbow rest on the couch, whatever, armrest, because I'm telling you, it will put so much strain there. Oh, and it's horrible. You know, so you have to have those arms and, you know, shoulders and things propped up as much as possible. Speaking of, let me prop my arm up. My right arm is not too propped. My left arm is neither, but. I'll use a scanning yarn to do so. There we go. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that made a really huge difference. Keep those elbows propped up, guys. Oh, that made such a difference. You know, I was like, let me practice what I preach, Lord. I'm just telling you all got some good ideas while I'm over here straining, all right, and pretending I'm not. I do it every time I'm live. When I'm doing my craft hour, I never prop my arms up. I'm just straining and I'm pretending that I'm not. <laughs> but it's okay. I strain for my family, all right? <laughs> Hey, you said I got enough. Oh, yeah, this is not enough behind me back here. And a lot of that's used already. A lot of it's not even there anymore. I need to re-update my shelves. 
He says it was five something. I never used it before. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Five something is really, this is like the normal price. What, oh, I was getting it from when I got from Walmart. Mm, that's cool. I thought it was like a dollar or something. So I guess Sean the Ball is still popular then. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I wasn't sure if it was, you know, still popular. Was it discontinued? I hope it don't discontinue. I like it a lot. Oops. But I know there's different yarns. I want to try uh, some yarn from, is it Hobby or something like Hobby, Hobby? It's a universe yarn. I can't remember who was it from, but I would definitely, I'm going to try it for a while. Just got to order it. And I know a lot of people say when you order certain places, you know, from different countries and things, you do want to make you a larger order so that way it'll be worth the shipping. Don't just order something super small and then shipping through the roof, you know? So that's what I'm going to do one of these days. One of these mornings. <laughs> one of these mornings. <laughs> okay. And everybody's loving each other in the chat. Okay, flirtery. Oh, I gotta be nosy. Hey, I'm over here crabbing. I'm missing out on all the flirt flirtation. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so nosy. Okay, I'm sorry, but I gotta be nosy. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see. Okay, also, Colleen says she's making some junk journals. Okay, yes. Love it. You better get your junk journal on. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Can I be nosy? I'm sorry, y'all. Like, then get back to that crab. What are you doing? I know, I just gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Oh, she just said, this is how you doing. What? Ain't no flirting. This is saying hello. How you doing? Okay, hobby yarn is so beautiful. Yes, Jolene. I never had any hobby yarn. I got to get myself there and stop playing games. Or is it Hobie? It is Hobie, right? Because I heard one of the workers, she's called it Hobie. So let me say Hobie. Hobie. There we go. Hobie. Because she was like, hello, my name is, you know, I represent Hobie. And I was like, oh, okay, it's Hobie. There we go. Hobie yarn, yes. Shauna Ball is pretty, but it's really thin. Yeah, it's really thin, but hey, I'll knock that baby out like there's no tomorrow. I love my Shauna Ball. Hey, I will knock that shawl and a ball out or shawl and a cake. Hey, all of that is great. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody's showing some love to each other. Uh, and I'm just happy. Like I said, I'm happy. This yarn is, is just hitting the spot. That's all I'm saying. You know, if it's splitting on you guys, try a bigger hook. But for me, this eye is all it took. <laughs> all right and i'm loving it guys i'm just oh this is so soft and tender this is gonna be delicious i feel like i'm gonna wear this pattern a lot i feel like i want to make it in different colors not just you know something like this I'm, i feel like i want to make it in a black i feel like a black would be delicious but i wouldn't i don't think a black would really be like so fun to do on a craft hour stream you know i feel like a black would be like something that you just do behind the scenes because not saying i love my black <laughs> black is beautiful <laughs> but I'm just speaking of, you know, we like to, it's yarn and things. Yarn is kind of like food for us. No, we can't eat it, but it we appeal, it appeals to us by our sight. You know, we eat with our eyes. We crochet with our eyes. Sometimes we're like, oh, that yarn, I must get it. We get it home. We didn't look at the fiber. We didn't look how many yards it was. We just kind of looked at that color and fell in love, you know? So that's just how it is a lot of times with yarn. And I really didn't want to just bring uh, too much of a plain color here. I wanted to kind of bring something that will kind of intrigue us and some something that some people, some of our family wanted to try. They have it sitting on the shelves, never tried, or they thought about it. And uh, I'm doing it right here firsthand. So I'm loving it. Download the app and play bingo. I think it gets, to, yeah, gets your extra sale price. What? Mm -mm. And that's Mondays, I believe. Oh, yeah, I got to do it. Because everybody's like, you don't get your bingo on. But I've been working out right after work, so I haven't really even been able to get into my bingo games. Been missing out on the bingo game. Look at cousin. You better get in here, cousin. Cousin's in the building that loving every stitch by Ruby, baby. Cousin, you better get in here. Cousin Angie's here, y'all. I better grab her up short some love. Her command is exclamation mark Ruby. Hey, we got all the family here tonight. Hey, cousin. Oh, not tonight. Oh, it's not it's not night time. It's, it's morning. It's 1042 a.m. Definitely not night time. All right, anyways, I'm making a delicious granny shell vest, okay? This is from Dr. Katrina at Mindful Crafts and More. I do have the pattern, okay? It is in the description box. The recipe is in the description, okay? I'll drop it again in the chattery because I would love for everyone who's a crafter who has that beautiful time to make this and show some love to Dr. Katrina and tag her and let her know because this is amazing. And it we all make this. Maybe we will help her or inspire her to make another recipe for us because this baby's coming out delicious. I've been wanting to make this for a long time. I started it, but I used a yarn that made me yawn. Uh, so I had to get a different yarn. So today I'm using this Bobbin Peachy King. Shout out to the Premier Yarns uh, for the Bobbin. 
and the anti-peeling of the yarning. Shout out to you for that. So far, so good. I'm using the variegated part of it, the blended, I should say, that little peach and the keen blend. Okay, this is going to be my middle, my back middle. And then after that, I'm going to use, I want my top to be the peach. Okay, I want my bottom to be all keen. All right, <laughs> if possible. But I guess it's not really doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm going in a circle. So we don't know. I'm hoping that my peach, you know, I'm, but I don't think it's going to be like that at all. It's really not. Never mind. Mm. Well, maybe I will start with the gray. After I do this part, I will begin with the gray. And then my outer can be the peach. <laughs> peach. Okay. I love my peach. I get my peaches down uh, in Georgia. Anyways, so that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be the back center. Then I'm going to, when I start my sleeves, I'm going to do the gray. Then I'm going to begin to let the peach blossom around the nape and drape. Sounds good to me. I had to think about it, guys. I had to think, like, how do I want it? Because I want that peach. I want the peach to, I want it to be trimmed in peaches. You know what I'm trying to say? I want cobbler all around the nape and the neck. I want all of that right here. You know, that nice little blouse here and then the peaches. You know what I'm like? Oh, what's those peaches? Yes, they are. They are peaches. Thanks for asking. Uh, but anyways, we're going to continue going on. I'm having a ball. Let me give you the link to that pattern because I know you guys are hungry to make this, okay? So let's do here. Today's craft. Here we go. Here we go. This is today's craft, y'all. Y'all make this baby up. Show some of Dr. Katrina. Very, very easy. And all you have to do is go watch the tutorial, guys. You make a granite square the same size as your back. Measure that nape to the bottom of that back. And then you want to make a granite square of that big, okay? That's what you want to do. Measure it and keep it going. Please do this for Dr. Katrina. If you love what she's doing, promoting, how she helps the community, how she's a doctor, a wife, mother. I mean, the young lady is doing a lot of the great things, showing so many, so much love, testing people's patterns out. I mean, she does a lot. And I mean, you can get this done in the weekend, guys, okay? So if you're doing something over the weekend, just make this baby up, okay? You don't have anything to do over the weekend. Just be honest, guys. Kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I might make another one over the weekend because we have a four hour trip to our daughter's school and then one back. So if I can't figure out something to make, if I don't start another Afghan for this month, I don't know what I'm doing. I got to have something to kill four hours there, four hours back. And I just don't want to not be productive. I usually bring a project with me. So I got to figure out something to take with me. I still haven't figured it out. Pardon me, excuse me. And I'm doing this particular uh, pattern on a live stream. I'm not doing it on behind the scenes i'm doing this with you all okay hey mary you better get in here hey granny you better get it look at granny granny get in here how you doing granny had knit pearl and squirrel with granny thompson's in the building hey y'all stand up for granny everybody get up if you're, your... <laughs> if you're on your couch right now everybody stand up stand up granny's here i was kidding guys i'm kidding i'm kidding but we love granny y'all show her some love if y'all don't have her, her birthdays this month y'all she's having a birthday hey we having a birthday party at granny's house guys all right all right that's what i'm saying b-y-o-y Bring your own yarn. Hey, we're coming to the party. B-Y-O-F. Bring your own fiber. We're heading over to Granny's house, and it's going to be a ball. That's all I can say about that. Shout out to Granny. We love you, Granny. How you doing this morning? I hope you're feeling delicious, okay? Hope the tummy's feeling yummy um, and all those types of things, okay? Uh, and I hope you don't have any gummies. But again, we're going to leave that one alone. We love our Granny. Seriously, uh, show her some love, though, guys. It's just good to see the family this morning. How y'all doing? Uh, what y'all working on? Granny's the one who had me making that shawl. That I thought I would never do, and it came out to be something I want to do again. You know, it, it's one thing we say, I'll never do that. No, I'll never make that. And then when you're done, you're like, oh, I got to repeat. That's a repeat, another one. All right. You have to repeat it. So shout out to Granny for making me get myself together. Okay. Oh, your birthday going to be at Bailey's? Oh, we're going to Bailey. All right. So yeah, you got to let us know more about the Bailey party. Well, it's not the Bailey party, it's Granny's party at ba Bailey's hosting. Look at ba Bailey, you better host. Okay, so it's going to be over at Bailey's house, uh, and it's going to be great. Look at Granny, because Granny, she's always like, oh, I don't really care about parties. You know, Granny, she don't really care about parties. She's like, hey, if I wake up, I'm happy, I'm grateful, I'm loving it. But if we're going to party, we, gonna, we might as well party, all right? Hopefully there's no Bailey's at Bailey's, but again, I'm not the host. So we don't know what's going to be there. Uh, but we do love Granny, and we're excited to see what's going on with the party, all right? Uh, are you still having some tummy issues? Your bro is going to pick up your meds. Oh, that's good. I'm happy that your bro is going to pick up some meds for you. That is so, so good, y'all. All right. It says, um, you say you crochet so fast, you could probably make two during that trip. Hey, you, I don't know. You never know. You never know, guys. Wouldn't that be nice if I could make one for my daughter and me, and then we could both have a nice little mother and daughter thing and mother-daughter uh, little picture? Because it's been a long time since I got my daughter to pose. 
for the camera, you know, to get her modeling on. And she's going to be here for spring break and she's not going to work. She said, you know what? Mm -mm. No work for me. So that feels good uh, because usually she's making that dinero and I'm not mad at her because somebody's got to make it. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to make it and somebody's got to take it. But anyway, so uh, I'm just happy that she's going to be here for spring break. We're going to go watch the Creed 3 movie, uh, show some love to Michael J B. Jordan. Okay, we're going to get to show him some love. And uh, we're going to be able to do that. I think we're we're going to try to make a day. We're going to have like a particular day, just like a little family day. Where we're going to be just making it jam packed, you know, and I'm super excited about trying it out. I mean, not trying it out. I'm super excited about that day. It's going to be really good, you know. And so I can't wait for that. It's going to be really, really good. We might try to get her in here to host with us, maybe a game. I might be to get her to host game night with me one night. I don't even know. But we're going to see how it's going to be. I'm excited. Uh, our oldest son, he's going to be going to prom this year. So, hey, it's getting real. It's getting to the point where the kids are getting old, y'all. We're going to have a 10-year-old, uh, 18-year-old, and a 21-year-old. Like, I just can't believe it, you know? Like, out of all my friends, you know, I have my baby the youngest, basically, out of everybody that I know. Um, and so I don't really have a lot of friends. It's like, oh, yeah, I got a 21-year-old. Like, I don't... <laughs> You know, and my my peer group. So I'm like going to be the one to experience having a 21 year old. But I'm just grateful that my 21 year old is in college. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Second year. And uh, she's doing some great things there, you know, and she's cooking and she's in the kitchen cooking, guys. And not just any little, you know, little quick meal. She's in there making gravies. OK, we're talking homemade lasagnas. You know, roasting her own chickens, baking her own mac and cheeses. The young lady is not playing any games, all right? She said, hey, mom, you know, what's the recipe? She either calls me or dad, and she's in the kitchen making meals, and she sends us the pics, and I'm just like, meatloaves? I said, well, oh, my, hey, you better you better get it. I'm so happy because, you know, you always want your kids to be able to cook. Hey, when you start getting a little older, and you don't want to get in that kitchen anymore, you always want to be able to go to the baby's house and get you a plate. You know, you're like, okay. You know, this is when they get older. The kids are older. They're like, man, hey, what's going on with the food? Hey, you got some on the stove. And the kids are getting to that age where they're going to be able to, hey, you're going to be able to eat with the children. And they're going to be able to have, you know, bring you some dinner. Or you can go pick it up either way. But I'm so happy she's getting to that age. And she's she's doing a lot of adulting on her own. But she's still bringing us in and getting that help from us. But I'm so happy she's she's getting her schoolwork done. She's handling business. I mean, she's been going to the gym. She's been doing, she's been creating a routine, an adult routine which I totally adore. She's working. I mean, she's she's doing a lot. She's juggling a lot of things, but she's doing it, you know, because hey, she she's able to do so. And it's a blessing because, you know, she doesn't have any children. You know, a lot of our family, in our, in our family, everybody was teenage moms. Everybody, everybody, you know, and now she's, she doesn't have that. She doesn't have to be a teenage mom. You know, I'm not knocking anything against teenage moms. I'm not saying that. But she's showing the family, like, what it's like to get established before having children. Like, you know, none of us did that. We were just like, okay, we got babies. This is what it is. We either drop out of school or we try to finish school. But she's like, okay, I'm going to school. I'm going to get all this stuff done, then start the family. And, like, it's, like, amazing to see, like, how it's going to be, you know? And I'm just, like, blown away. And I tell her this all the time, how proud I am of her. But I don't think she – I think she takes it lightly because it's so easy for her. I mean, that's her easy, but oh, uh, stop the tears. Here goes the tears. My aunt shouldn't be coming until maybe a couple of weeks. Why am I tearing? I don't know. You can be proud of your children, right? Um, but it's just a blessing just to see the hard work she's doing. And I just want her to know that it's, you know, it's duly noted. You know, sometimes, hey, we got to encourage ourselves, but it's something about encouraging the family as well, you know? You know, sometimes people don't want to encourage you. You got to encourage yourself. But, hey, I, I believe in giving those flowers out. I'm going to give them out, Lord. I don't care if it's a dandelion. You're going to get something from it, Lord. Hey, if that's just a dandelion, you're going to get something from me, okay? I might not be able to afford a rose every day. Okay, I'm going to go get you one of them dandelions. You better love it. Okay, you better love it. Make a wish on it when it turns white uh, or semi grayish, whatever color. Kelly's in the building. Kelly, what's going on? Kelly, you better get in here. How you feeling this morning? Oh my goodness, you better work and learn. Iris says, tell me about it. My son is 28. What? Man, that time goes by so fast. Iris, oh my gosh, 29 in October, yeah? Our dog going to be 21 in October. I cannot. It's, I guess it'll be the 21st which is actual birthday, Bailey, okay, cat in the prowl, okay, 7 p.m. Eastern, man, I'm ready to party, we better party, hey, we better party, thank you, Granny, so Granny's gonna have a party on the 21st, it's the, this is our actual birthday, so it's gonna be amazing, all right, we're gonna be over at Bailey's house, and it's gonna be a party, so everybody get ready for the party, so yes, uh, let's see, y'all go shopping at 
Lenny's. Oh, I bring my own bag. Oh, bring your own bag. Oh, that sounds delicious. Hey, ain't nothing wrong. Hey, ain't nothing like that. That's a delicious day to go shopping mm, at the family's house. Mm-hmm. Say we're being dad's 100th birthday. Oh, my goodness. Happy heavenly birthday, dad. Happy heavenly birthday. That's amazing. Mm, mm, mm. That's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. What a true, true blessing. Mm-hmm. Yes, God, I'm just continuing. That's all. It's a super easy pattern. I'm just ready to get to the body. I'm ready to get to the, you know, the shell part. And that's what I did last time. I started it with a size three yarn. And I started with a size three yarn, but it didn't move very fast. And it just wasn't doing enough for me. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. I think of the yarn. I think the yarn just really didn't, it just didn't appeal to me. I used it already. I used the color already. And so it just was like, okay, I did this. It was kind of like I was re watching a rerun. So now that I'm using a different yarn and it's so soft and delicious, it's like making me want to just breeze through it, you know? And that's what a lot of times it happens for me. When I use a new yarn, I just can whip through something because it's so fun. It's like, it's like starting something I never, you know? It's like that new experience. I love that new experience. And when I did that uh, shawl that I never thought I would do, it was a new experience for me using that. It's a wrap yarn. So it really was fun doing that. And I used close to the 1,100 yards that I had in there, but there were just a few little bits uh, that I didn't use because I knew I wasn't going to have enough to get to the other side. And I didn't want to play any yarn chicken. And I wasn't going to buy any more of it. I was done. <laughs> it was a done deal. I have so much more of the it's a wrap yarn in different colors. I just don't need to buy another cake, you know, for no reason. And, and it's it's really big. It's big enough for me. And even if I don't keep it for myself, I can have it for craft fairs or something like that. And uh Gamer Bro shows some love to Iris. Iris shows some love to Gamer Bro. Everybody's loving each other in the chattery, the chattery. Jolene says, Did you finish your big blanket yet? Okay, not yet. I'm almost done with it though. I'm going to work on it today and get it all done. My gold, black, and white. A gold, black, and white one. This one. It's almost done. I'm going to get that baby done today so I can make my video, my finished object video. Got that one done. This is the shawl. And it came out really, really nice, y'all, with the size one yarn. It came out really delicious. I'm going to get some pictures of that. And uh, I'm going to go from there. I've been making blankets like every month. So I feel like I want to start just making blankets up. Like the basic Afghan. I want to do some mosaic too. I want to do some mosaic, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Do I want to do this month or what? I just got to find enough yarn for it because as all the yarn, all the patterns I'm seeing calls for a lot of, call for a lot of yarn. So I do need to find which one I want to do or, you know, make sure I got enough yarn for the mosaic and I don't want to not make an Afghan. I've been using my uh, my millions yarn, my little fillable yarn, which I need to buy more of it. If you guys see any like value yarn or anything like Michael's, anywhere, Big Twist, I really don't care. Michael's has like, this big, nice little value yarn that I like to use. I have a peel. Here it is. I usually have like some of this. This is what I got from Michael's years ago. And I missed the Hobby Lobby sale. So Joe took me to Michael's and we went and got this. And it's Craft Smart. And this was $2.99 for... Uh, Seven six six seven hundred and sixteen yards. It was two ninety nine on sale. So I grabbed all the ones I had. They had a couple teal, a couple gold colors. And I believe it was that it? Teal, gold, and maybe something else. I can't really remember. Oh, I think it was like a mint. So I grabbed those up and I'm using those up. And I also have some millions yarn from Mary Maxim. But Mary Maxim yarn is kind of a little the ones that I do have are not really true to size four, They're kind of a little lightweight. This right here is a little bit heavier but it's all good it's like perfect you know perfect weight but i'm going to be grabbing some different fillable yarns if you guys see any of those or anything let me know because i do want to keep those on hand for afghan making if i do want to gift them or if i want to put them on sale or just you know put them on my website whatever i would do do craft fair sales on them i want to have those and that's the kind of yarn i really want to use for my afghans um unless i'm doing like a fancy pattern i'll use something different but for the most part i'll use like those kind of yarns for my Afghans, because I'm going to be using basic Afghan patterns that I can finish up really quick, you know? I love the cobalt yarn you introduced me to. The only thing I don't like is the, like the cakes are very small. I know! The good yarn is always small. That's what they do to us, right? They don't give us like these big cake fulls of co of bamboo type yarns or silks or you know, they give us like the idiotiest bittiest of them and we gotta have like 10 of them. So if we're making a garment, 
or something like that. You know, we're like steady having to attach a new yarn like every second, which is annoying a little bit can be, you know, but I know it can be pricey. So they always want to give us like a good price. So they have to make it into small cakes. If it was a big cake, it'd probably be like a 20 buck cake. But I mean, people probably wouldn't mind because if they go do the adding, they might be saving money if they just buy the bigger one. So whatever, I don't know. That's just how it works. Love mosaic, but I don't like all the ends. Yeah, she made a blanket that says love and has hearts. All oh, really? Did you? Oh, that sounds delicious. What kind of pattern was that? I mean, yeah, what's the pattern for that? And then I did some uh, filet crochet. Iris, have you ever done any filet crochet? Love that. You love it? That's so nice. The little colors? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Jolene. Yes. So far, so good. I've had a like, little splittery, but nothing to uh, frazzle me or razzle me. So nothing to upset me. Okay. Everything seemed like it's pretty good. I'm not too upset with this, uh, this the splitting. It's not too much. You know, it's not uh, enough split to make me upset. You know, it's like just a little something. If I move a little too fast, it'll split. But so far, so good. I have my chain challenge I have to upload. Cousin uh, tagged me, Dr. Katrina, both they both tagged me in it. So I got my video done. I just got to get it edited, cleared up. My video, my phone, you know, my phone front camera is uh, all messed up. And so that's why I haven't really recorded any videos. Once I get my new phone, I'm going to be able to record. And you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, she uploaded another video? Help her, Lord. Can she get out of the camera? No, I can't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, let's see if I miss anybody. Everybody's good. Okay, cool, cool. But I guess I'm going to get out of here because I got to go uh, to the gym now. But I will be back tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. I hope you guys come back and hang out with me then. And we can continue working on other projects and see what's going on. I might start something new. Might see if I'm not done with this Afghan by then, I'll start something new. And then, uh, I mean, if I'm, I'll work on that. But if I'm not done with it, I mean, if I am done with it, I'll start something new. Okay. But I appreciate you all for coming in. I hope you have a beautiful, sweet, amazing day. Uh, stay warm if it's cold where you are. Stay cool if it's hot where you are. Okay. And I appreciate you for joining me. Thank you again, Dr. Katrina, for this delicious recipe because guess what? We're not stopping till this baby gets done. That's all I can say. Oh, from the crazy crochet lady. Oh, okay. Love it. All right, guys. So, yes, I'll be back tomorrow for the finishing up. We're working on this more of this. And uh, I'll also be back tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I love you all. Take care. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. I had a great time with you all. And until next time, have a great day. I love you all. Thank you for joining me for Craft Hour with who?